बिस्मिल्लाम स्टूडेंट्स असलम आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन सो दिस इज़ द सेकेंड पार्ट यू नो दैट दिस इज सिमल्स केमिस्ट्री क्लास इन विच वी डिस्कस केमिस्ट्री विद फंस सो लेट स्टार्ट सो यू नो दैट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड केमिकल इक्लेबरियम फर्स्ट पार्ट एंड नाउ वी विल डिस्कस केमिकल इक्लेबरियम सेकेंड पार्ट इन विच वी विल डिस्कस सम ऑफ द डिमेरिकल्स डेट आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट when we solve uh, then we will learn a lot from these uh, numericals uh, why because in this video first of all i would like to discuss some some of the examples that are actually discussed in your chapter you can also take the help from the book then go towards the uh, other materials for the practice okay so just let's start okay so in this video uh, we will inshallah discuss a uh, numerical related to the chemical equilibrium and i will also tell you what is the equilibrium constant and what is its unit and how we can derive its unit we have discussed the law of mass section in which we have derived uh, the equation for the kc but in this we will discuss more about the equilibrium constant and its unit we will also talk about uh, equilibrium constant importance and we will also see how we can predict the direction of the reaction if we have the values of a uh, quotient product okay so just let's see uh, and i will also discuss test yourself and then you also have to take the test from yourself because practice makes a man perfect so if you do more practice then you will get more good result okay so just let's start first of all i would like to like to remind your concept that i have discussed in the first part of the, this chapter i have also told you about two important types of reactions one is reversible and the second one is irreversible okay and uh, for those concept you have to visit my first part that i have shared the link theek hai in the description so you can go through from this link okay so in this video i will like to talk about Uh, the factor that is actually affect the equilibrium and you should know that the main point is that only the temperature is a single factor that can affect the equilibrium constant why and how we will see it step by step first of all these are the important points and these important points should be in your mind the first one is kc only works in equilibrium as you know that we only derive the equilibrium constant equation when we uh, consider reversible reaction okay? so uh, reversible reactions are very important in equilibrium if there is a reversible reaction then one product is formed then it can also form the reactant again so if we want reactant then we'll, uh, we will provide the conditions according to to other uh, our requirement temperature will help you during the reaction to proceed or to predict what will be the direction okay? so if we want uh, more product then we have to change the condition but but we will not discuss those condition in that reaction because according to your level this is not important okay the second point is that it represents the equilibrium concentration of the reactant and product in mole per decimeter cube you know that mole per decimeter cube is very important why because it shows the concentration and you know that kc is equals to the concentration of the products divided by concentration of the reactants okay we have concentration of the reactants in the denominator part while we have concentration of the products uh, on the numerator okay kc is independent of the reactant and product concentration why because uh, actually it is actually the ratio uh, in the numerator we all we are having concentrations theek hai and in the denominator we are also having concentration so there is no change so that's why it actually not depend upon the reactant and product concentration why uh, while kc varies with temperature kc is a balanced chemical equation coefficient in a balanced chemical equation each reactant and product has a concentration equals to its coefficient you know i have discussed in the previous video that uh, how to write the coefficient and you have uh, seen that the number of moles are actually the coefficients and the uh, uh, we place the number of moles in order to balance the chemical equation okay so uh, the balanced chemical equation always will be equal and same for both reactants and products okay kc okay, is uh, now see this is very important line that kc represents equilibrium position how if kc is larger than 
for example if you are performing any ex experiment and they are saying you that uh, we have kc value this and uh, we have also uh, and uh, in the question the values for the constriction are also given to you then what you have to do then you have first have to calculate that uh, by using those values by placing those values in the kc e equation and then you can find out how what is the answer and what is the uh, quotient okay and uh, so we will have two values for kc one that we have calculated and one they have given you into the question so we will consider both values that will uh, come to know what is the direction of the reaction okay we will do these type of questions in the next slides inshallah okay so uh, in this video but you have to consider these point and these points should be in your mind that if kc is larger than one the reaction is forward okay if kc is less than one the reaction is reverse reaction for uh, means that if you have kc value larger than one the we will have more product but the case if you have the kc value less than one then we will have more reactants okay remember that equilibrium constant kc is a ratio of reactant to product as you know that that is utilized to define chemical behavior okay why we are considering here the chemical behavior because chemical behavior is actually related uh, with the temperature for example some kind of reactions actually takes place at uh, different types of or different kinds of temperature okay uh, for example uh, some reactions only takes place at higher temperature while some reaction takes place at room temperature okay now just move towards the next slide in the next slide i will discuss how to find out the uh, equilibrium constant concentration unit okay you know that at equilibrium the rate of forward reaction is equal to the rate of backward reaction and equal number of moles on both sides of the reaction equation has no unit in kc you know that uh, when we uh, i have told you that we are considering here only concentrations F but for example uh, what happens in velocity when we calculate on, or when we talk about the velocity you know that what is velocity the uh, the distance covered by a body in some unit time okay in unit time you can say that so uh, actually velocity is the the ratio uh, of uh, distance to time so you know that we can measure the distance in uh, meter only but and we measure the time in seconds only so we are unable to cut the values we are unable to cut their units for example if you are calculating something i said you that a body covers 10 meter distance in two minutes in two seconds okay so what you will do you will and just find out its average velocity then what we will do you will use the formula that is v is equals to d divided by t you will place the value of distance that is 10 and you will place the value of t that is 2 and then you will cut 2 1 the 2 2 uh, 5 the 10 particular uh, value you have to make uh, you have to write meter per second why because meter is on the numer numerator and time is actually uh, at denominator okay so meter per second will be the unit we are uh, there is uh, also distance in the denominator then what will happen distance will distance distance unit will be cut it by the distance unit then you will have no uh, you can say no ratio uh, or you can say no unit why because they are uh, they, we are considering the same thing distance divided by distance then we uh, and you know that both the distance we have to measure we can measure distances into the meter so if we are placing the meter above on the line and we are placing the meter uh, before below the line then what will happen both the meters will cancel out each other then uh, in this case just like that similarly just like that if you are considering the equilibrium constant you should know that we are here talking about the concentration so the kc itself has no unit but if but the coefficient will make its unit why because the number of coefficient actually are different as you can see just consider the reaction in which carbon dioxide gas is actually reacting with the hydrogen gas and forming carbon monoxide gas and water now just see the equation is balanced or not we have the carbon only one carbon at the reactant side and one carbon on the 
in the product side okay we have two oxygen in the reactant side and two oxygens with in the product side we have two hydrogen in the reactant side and two hydrogen on the product side so it's mean the chemical reaction is balanced now just make kc for this reaction kc is equals to you have to write the uh, concentration of products and you know that we use square brackets to show the concentration okay if you write only co then it will not show show it will not show that you are using the concentration or molar concentration this this square bracket will show you that which show that you are considering actually the molar concentration okay so first of all you will consider the molar concentration you know that we uh, we always take the concentration in mole per dm cube so for each concentration you will write mole per dm cube for co you will write mole per dm cube for water you will write mole per dm cube now all of these actually have all of these actually has no uh, coefficient so uh, we will not multiply its unit so it will cancel with each other but for the reaction when the nitrogen gas is reacting with the hydrogen gas and forming ammonia now you can see we have a balanced chemical equation but the problem here is that the number of coefficients are changed for example with n2 there is no number of mole example for n2 you know that there is only one mole okay and for hydrogen there is uh, three moles so uh, but for the ammonia gas there is two moles okay so first we will start from the product side nh3 square bracket to show the concentration and then two that is the coefficient we will uh, write it as coefficient okay uh, that is actually the number of moles n2 there is no coefficient so we will not write any number h2 there is 3 with h2 so we will mention it we will mention it okay so now what is happening mole per decimeter cube is squaring on the denominator and uh, uh, in the in the denominator we have 4 mole per decimeter cube okay so we have 2 mole per decimeter cube on above you know that when same um, same a variables multiply with each other their powers actually summed up okay okay here 3 is written okay in which this here no number is written but when there is no number we will consider as 1 we will consider it as 1 so 3 plus 1 it will be is equal to 4 so it's mean we have total 4 mole per dm cube here okay and 2 mole per dm cube in the numerator okay so these two numerator will be cancelled with this these two one okay then two when you will cut two from the two then you will get two so it's mean we have two we have uh, so it's mean we have two uh, mole per decimeter cube in the denominator numerator then uh, mole first multiply this two uh, this two with the uh, power of the concentration for example we have no number on the mole so it's mean there is one so two ones are two okay two threes are six so here we will have here we will have mole square dot dm minus six okay now uh, but when the value will go towards the numerator from the denominator then what will happen the minus sign will be changed into the positive and the positive sign will be changed into the negative for example if we have mole uh, square square is positive then if it is going towards the nu numerator then it will become minus 2 and when decimeter cube will go to a uh, decimeter minus 6 will go towards the numerator then in this minus 6 will be only positive 6 okay so the sign will be changed because the things the, the concentration unit is actually going from the denominator towards the numerator so in this case you will have a, a unit that is mole minus mole minus 2 dot dm 6 okay i hope your constant is clear now now just let's uh, move towards numerical one you can see numerical one equilibrium occurs when nitrogen monoxide gas reacts with the oxygen gas to form nitrogen dioxide as you can see in the reaction that two moles of nitrogen 
monoxide is going to react with oxygen gas to form two moles of nitrogen dioxide at equilibrium at 230 degree centigrade the concentrations are measured to be the concentration are given to you that uh, the concentration of no is 0.0542 mole per decimeter cube o2 concentration is about 2.1 uh, 127 mole dot dm cube and no2 is about 15.5 mole per dm okay now they are saying you that just calculate its equilibrium constant at this temperature first consider their concentrations okay now you know that the expression for the equilibrium constant is just like kc is equals to product concentration and so the product is no2 okay this is the product and you can see that the 2 is written with the product so it will be its coefficient no2 is square the 2 is coming from this number of mole okay now in uh, in the denominator you know that we will write its reactants that are nitrogen monoxide and oxygen so just write no and the coefficient is 2 so write 2 with o2 but there is no number is written so we will consider is just like that okay uh, by this way you will take its expression and when you will put the values in this equation you will get this relation why because the concentration is uh, of nitrogen uh, dioxide is given as 15.5 so you will uh, place you will place the values in the expression then you will get the answer for the answer first of all you have to find out its coefficient like uh, 15.5 uh, mole per decimeter cube minus 3 square so you have to calculate its square first square means you have to multiply 15.5 with 15.5 square means you have to write two times 15.5 and you have to multiply both of the terms with each other just like that 0.0542 will be also multiplied with two times okay for example when you will find out the square of 15.5 you will get 240 theek hai then you will first calculate the square of 0.0542 okay Square of zero point zero five four two is about zero point zero zero two nine two nine something, and then we have to multiply this term with zero point one two seven mole per decimeter cube. Multiply never ever direct multiply with both of the terms if one of the term is containing the square. Why? Because square means first we have to simplify this term with the square, and then we can multiply both of these. Okay, now what you will do? Just you will multiply it zero point zero zero two nine multiply with point one two seven, and then you can divide the term, and then you will get this answer. Okay, so this is the way to complete the numerical. Now just move towards the next example. Example. So in this example, you can see that the question is a reaction takes place between iron ion and chloride ion. As you can see in this equation, iron is reacting with the four moles of chloride ions and forming the iron chloride. Okay. At equilibrium, the concentrations are measured to be iron is 0.2 mole per decimeter cube, chloride is about 0.28 mole per decimeter cube, and ferric and ferric chloride is about 0.95. Exponent minus four mole uh, decimeter cube. Now, what you have to do? First of all, you have to calculate the equilibrium constant, and you know that what is the formula of equilibrium constant? The concentration of product divided by the concentration of the reactants, and you can see that the product is FeCl4. So we will consider the concentration of FeCl4 as uh, numerator, and then we will take the concentration of reactants as deno denominator. and you can see that 4 is written there is no number is written with fe as seen in the equation there is no number is written in fe so we will consider here one is written but here 4 is written so what will happen with the cl4 so we will here write the 4 means we have to multiply the concentration of the chlorine chloride ion with four times theek hai we have to multiply it with uh, multiply it four times to get simplify it okay and first you will simplify this term and then you will do multiplication with this and then you will do the division to get your answer 
ओके हाउ द मोल डेसीमीटर क्यू पावर इज चेंजिंग एज यू कैन सी दैट हेयर हेयर मोल पर डेसीमीटर क्यू विल कट विद दिस मोल पर डेसीमीटर क्यू वॉट विल बी द रिमेनिंग मोल पर डेसीमीटर क्यू मल्टीप्लाई विद फोर दिस फोर विद ऑल्सो मल्टीप्लाई विद द पावर ऑफ द यूनिट फोर विद मल्टी फोर विद मल्टीप्लाई विद द मोल एज वेल सो इट विल बिकम मोल फोर डॉट डेसीमीटर क्यूब क्यूब मीन्स थ्री फोर जो ट्वेल्व सो वी विल गेट डी डेसीमीटर माइनस ट्वेल्व नाउ दिस इज एक्चुअली इन द डिनोमिनेटर वैन इट विल गो टूवर्ड्स द नॉमिनेटर देन वॉट विल हैपन द पॉजिटिव फोर विल बिकम नेगेटिव फोर एंड द नेगेटिव ट्वेल्व विल बिकम पॉजिटिव ट्वेल्व एज इट इज गोइंग फ्रॉम द डिनोमिनेटर टूवर्ड्स द नॉमिनेटर साइड ओके सो जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस कॉन्सेप्ट Now just move towards the next slide. In the next slide, here is another numerical. As you can see, it is it is also an example of your uh, book. Here you can see that nitrogen is reacting with oxygen and forming the nitrogen monoxide gas. And here the product is nitrogen monoxide. You will all uh, you will again write the Kc expression for this reaction and then you will solve this equation with the help of concentration. Now here, what is happening? What is the changing? The changing is find the concentration of anion. Now they are asking about the concentration of the product. So what you have to do, you have to modify your equation. You want to calculate anion, okay? So now you uh, you have need to calculate this anion. So first of all, you will modify your equation. And how you will modify your equation? The denominator will go towards the next side and then it will uh, multiply with the kc and then you will get the concentration of no 2 no square but we need the concentration of single no unit so what we will do for this root we will take root on both sides uh, and then we will get its root to get the single concentration or to get the concentration of the no now just let's move towards the importance of equilibrium constant equilibrium constant is very important because it tells you about the direction of the reaction in which direction can a reaction will go for example you know that equilibrium reactions are those reactions in which forward and reverse reactions undergo you know that reversible reactions in reversible reactions we talk about the equilibrium if you have calculated value is more than the given kc value then the your reaction will be reverse if you have equal value with the kc then it it means it will be an equilibrium condition If you have more Kc than the calculated value, then the reaction will be forward reaction. Just see how Kc predicts the direction. This reaction is giving you the direction. For example, Kc is very small. When the Kc is very small, when the reactions with low Kc never finish. If you have a very small Kc, then it means you will have more reactants. As we have discussed in the previous slide, that if we have Kc. very small value and uh, then our calculated value then it's mean the reaction will be reverse or backward if you have very large kc value it's mean your reaction will be forward reaction means you will have more products than reactants uh, if the kc is neither small and nor very large it's mean then uh, there is an equilibrium point where the concentration of the reactants and products is almost same okay now just let's move towards next slide next this slide is telling you about how the equilibrium constant exists for certain groups of equilibria such as for uh, it exists for weak acids weak bases the order ionization of water in slightly soluble salts why why it, it belongs to weak acids and weak bases first of all you should know that what is the difference between the weak base and weak acids weak acids and weak bases are those that actually uh, partially ionize or do not break completely into their ions for example you know that hcl is a strong acid it means that hcl will break 100% or completely into the water uh, in hydrogen ions and cl negative ions okay so whenever you have uh, the compounds that are actually weak acids and weak bases that it means that they will partially soluble or partially break into the ions not all the uh, not all the compounds will break so that's why these uh, these kind of solutions are known as weak acids and weak bases due to their 
the partial breaking of the ions okay so uh, that what happens in equilibrium in equilibrium when the product is formed then it will start to become reactants again so when weak acids are there or weak bases are there then it means that when they will break into their ions their ions will again start to form the reactant okay so that's why equilibrium exists in weak acids and weak bases now this is the test yourself that is given in your book that if the value of kc is kc value is given 717 kelvin is at 17 717 kelvin that is about 48 and the reaction is h2 hydrogen gas is actually reacting with the iodine to form hydrogen iodide the two moles of hydrogen iodide the concentrations for hydrogen iodine ion uh, iodine gas and hydrogen iodide uh, are supposed to be 0.2 mole per liter 0.2 mole per liter and 0.6 mole per liter for the product now just calculate the reaction quantity i have done this question for you students and you can see first of all we will use kc expression the reaction is uh, between the hydrogen and iodine gas so we will take it as denominator because these are actually reactants and we will uh, take the hydrogen iodide as a product because it is a product we will uh, put the values and by putting the values first we will find out the square that is 0.36 and then we will divide it and we will get the answer so here you can see that we have quartient reaction quartient 9 that is very small than the given kc value that is about 48 so uh, we have discussed whenever we have large kc then quartient reaction then we will have forward reaction so by this way it will help us to predict the reaction direction just consider this question you can solve this question by yourself this is very easy match each of the following statement with appropriate trigram just consider this question you can solve this question by yourself this is very easy match each of the following statement with appropriate trigram just consider this question you can solve this question by yourself this is very easy match each of the following statement with appropriate trigram and uh, the option a is saying small kc indicates that reaction mixture mostly contains reactants so you have to distinguish one of the picture that contains more reactants and this question you will do by yourself okay just do it and complete it this question and share your answer in the comment section okay but this question is very easy for example see in the uh, first picture uh, red ball is showing the reactant and uh, green ball is showing the product just count the red balls and see in which picture there are more uh, reactants than products okay then this picture will be the answer of option a okay thank you for watching us and uh, this the homework i have covered alhamdulillah the full chapter now you have to learn each topic that i have discussed and take test from yourself prepare remaining topics for the mcqs don't forget to subscribe like and share my channel to get uh, to be in contact to be in touch with me uh, or to uh, clear your concepts Thank you very much students inshallah we will meet again love is